I'd like you to maybe touch upon how um, how you feel about that happening now, um, especially in relation to all the other things. It's very much as if there is a well. Everyone is talking about the grand awakening, but this is something very uh, everyday life uh, related. This is something that people can actually use and and relate to. They might not be able to relate to big issues and, and huge topics about the economy and the weather and doomsday or not doomsday and all, all these things, but something as 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 normal and and localized as everyday psychopaths and getting through um, the experience of evil how, how do you yes. relate to the, to the whole thing of that happening now do you think that's important yeah I think it's a collective experience and a collect there's a coll an element of the collective unconscious coming on here in Eastern philosophy particularly in traditions like the Nat tradition of India which is something I'm very interested in they, they, their, their belief in the psychopath is that this, it's, it's an evolutionary process. It's to do with almost like karmic cycles. I don't necessarily buy the whole karmic idea myself. I just think it's another form of, of guilt or something. But uh, having said that, they, they, in these traditions and certain in, in, in the Sindar traditions in, in, in India and in the Indian subcontinent in that region, there's a belief that psychopaths manifest within your life in order to make you go through the experience that, that you put other people through. And I think a lot of people who go through the experience realize that as well, because it makes you very empathic and makes you incredible. I've always been an, an empathic person, but I'm deeply empathic now. And it's not always a good thing. It can be quite painful, but, it, but it's also, it can be good and it, it, it can be quite beautiful in the creative sense. So. You know, it's a trade-off. It's a trade. It's, it's something worth happening anyway. You 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 experience the fuller richness of emotions, and even the bad ones. You, you know, when you go through this experience, let me tell you, it's like uh, it's like what happens when they say it happens when you die, and that tape recording is played, and you see all the things you did and all the people you hurt. Well, that's what happens you in this experience, and. Uh, the shadow that you have uh, denied, the, the negative aspects of your behavior, of your psychology, well, it will come, it comes at you like a freight train and it runs you over. But that's it, that you, so you have a tremendous personal, evolutionary and spiritual and psychological growth from the experience. And uh, I, I, that's why I often say to people, I, those of us who've been through these experiences, when we get out the other side, we're actually kind of glad we went through them because our lives are far more richer, fuller, and meaningful now. And I think it, it is a part of a grand awakening. I think it is. I think it is. I think this, and nothing happens. Nothing happens in nature for an, by accident. When we talk about psychopaths, we're not talking about one in a million. We're talking about roughly four percent of the population in Western society. So that's not a, that's not a, that's not a tiny mistake or a, a little, a, an obscure mutation. It's a lot of people over the, the, the world, and that nature wouldn't put that many out there, or you know the cosmos or whatever you want to call it, the Godhead wouldn't put that many out there in society if it didn't serve a grand function. And my belief is that that grand function is that grand the grand agenda of this is. Me. Yes, I did. On a very. Did you get me with finishing with social order? I I got up until uh, the conclusion, so no, um, I I lost the good stuff there. Um, okay, well I'll I'll start. I'll just do that bit again. Um, do, do you have anything running uh, aside? Nothing. Or, nothing. No, no, me no, neither. No. It's very weird that we keep falling. It, it is getting very hot here, so I'm just wondering if that's affecting it. Yeah, it could be that our graphic cards are being punished a bit. Um, I just think that was extremely important what you just touched upon. And, and, and okay, finished. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Uh, is this part of the Grand Awakening? Absolutely, I think it is. There's a uh, there's a vast numbers of psychopaths out there, and they're all, not all completely horrible. There's 
you know, there's a different frequency of psychopathology in each one of them, ranging from a shifty individual all the way up to a, a tyrannical despot. But we're talking about 4% of the human population here. Nature would not make a mistake with 4%. We're not talking about one in a million. We're talking about one in, you know, in the 20s, one to 22 to 25 of every person in Western society being psychopathic to some degree. That absolutely is not a mistake. That has happened for a reason, and it's happening for a reason that I believe is to elevate the human consciousness by coming into contact with these entities, with these people, these puzzling people, and as a result, developing a better, a more introspective, a more intuitive, and a more consciously elevated society to replace the one that we currently exist in. Collectively and individually, we're having a fire lit on their backside by these psychopaths, both in relationships, the workplace, and in politics, and in media, and in, in government. And that is a grand plan that's implemented either through natural functions or through an evolutionary impulse, or more likely, from what I'm my own perspective, a reaction to our own consciousness, our own polluted modern consciousness that we have today, our broken psyche, which is that the Western man is currently burdened with. We have manifested through our conscious intent this experience, both individually and collectively, and it's an evolutionary impulse, and that's why it happened. And it's not a mistake, and it's not an accident, and it's something that once you get through it, you will embrace it because you realize it happened for a reason, and the reason was that you needed it. And the reason why it's happening, we call this the Great Awakening, and this political breakdown, the reason why that's happening is collectively, as the human consciousness, in terms of our collective psyche, we need it. Because we have not come to terms with our shadow, and we need to do that fast. And this is how evolution happens. And this is why psychopaths are here, and why we need them. And why we, we should come to terms with this experience. Because it's sink or swim. We have to, this is a pivotal point in human development and we have to confront our shadow. And the psychopaths have come here to hold up the mirror to us and say, this is what you really are, and that you will not survive if you don't change. And this is why we're changing.